Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I received my Dodo Cool solar panel. This is a 12 watt solar panel with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery built in. This plays a very important role in an upcoming Raspberry Pi project that I have. So it puts out 2.4 amps at five volts maximum. It has two USB 2.0 ports on it. The battery can only be charged from the solar panels. So in this video, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and I'm gonna test how much charge is in this battery. Now, a lot of manufacturers claim they have a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Turns out to be 4,000 to 6,000 milliamp hours. I'm gonna get this out of here. So as for charge time on this solar panel here, it's a 12 watt solar panel setup, dual panels here, and it needs to charge the built-in 4.2 volt lithium polymer battery. These solar panels, now I could cut it apart and test everything, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be putting out 0.2 amps in really good sunlight. It could be as high as 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps. If that's the case, at 500 milliamps, and this battery is a real 10,000 milliamp hour battery, it will charge in 24 hours. It does seem like a long time, but we're working with solar power here. So as you saw, it has a little indicator for charge. The LED comes on when it is charging from solar power. And there's two USB 2.0 ports, and they probably both put out one amp. It's really not that big, and I don't expect it to charge very quickly. Like I said, I'm actually expecting around 35 hours it will completely charge that battery. That's 35 hours in completely bright sunlight. So given the right conditions, it would charge this battery in three days. And the reason I say three days is because we don't have 24 hours of sunlight to charge this thing up. I'm gonna test out how many amps this puts out. Now this is my iRulu 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank. It is one of the best battery banks that I have ever bought. And I actually just ordered three more because they're only 20 bucks. It will tell me how much is left in the battery how many amps the battery is charging at, and how much time. This is a awesome mono price USB cable capable of up to 3.5 amps. So I know we're gonna be able to get the maximum out of this solar panel to this battery right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Now, as you can see, the solar panel is putting out close to one amp into this battery. The battery here, the iRulu, is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery, and it works amazing. I have charged all of our phones off of it. So at the end of this video, which is coming up very shortly, I will show you guys how much this charged. Now the solar panel only had three LEDs lit up, so it's 75% charged. I expect it not to be a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and around five to 6,000. So I'm pretty sure what I have planned is going to work pretty well. I'm gonna be using the iRulu 20,000 milliamp hour battery charged from this solar panel to power a portable Raspberry Pi. Now, if you're looking to get one of these for your phone to charge your phone up, you can definitely do that. Leave it in your car, something like that. But you have to know this thing is going to take a long time to charge that battery that's built in. So with that said, I guarantee you this thing will charge your phone up. What's gonna happen is it's going to charge the built-in battery on the solar panel, the 10,000 milliamp hour battery, and then use that energy, that stored energy to charge your cell phone or power your electronics. So this is definitely gonna work for the project I originally intended it for, but I might actually get another one to put in my car. Stay tuned for that project, and if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave an Amazon link down below. I also have a special discount code that you guys can use. It'll take $13.11 off of this, but I'm not sure how long that code is good for. I wanted to get an idea of how big the battery was really in the solar panel. It claims to be a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Five hours later, I only had three bars on the solar panel, but there are four bars. The solar panel charged my other battery by 4,237 milliamps. Like I suspected, it's probably around a 6,000 milliamp hour battery in the solar panel. So I completely understand that this is not a scientific test here, but I am very close to the milliamp hour rating on this battery. 
and how fast it's going to charge. This will definitely work for my upcoming Raspberry Pi project without a doubt. This is a really cool little setup. Let's just say a 6,000 milliamp hour battery built in. It's gonna take around 22, 23 hours of full sunlight to charge this up. So that's it for now guys, I really appreciate you watching. After I'm done with my solar panel project, I might cut this open and do some more extensive testing just to see if I was correct. But for now, I wanted to leave it intact so I could use it. Stay tuned to my channel because I have that project coming up next week and I think it's really cool. And like always, thanks for watching.